Hello and welcome to another Kit Plus show supported by Media Proxy. So in the news recently, we reported on Media Proxy announcing the launch of its log server compliance and monitoring system as a flexible OPEX option. Yep, and who better to help us understand a bit more about this than Raj Patel for Media Proxy. Hi Raj, welcome back to the show. Good to see you again. Hi Matt and hi Simon. Long time no see. Uh, thanks for inviting me back. Um, yeah. Some interesting news from our side. Yeah, absolutely. So what were the main drivers in the decision and and how do you think it's beneficial to broadcasters? Um, to be honest with you, we've always had a OPEX model available, but it's been mainly being used by our uh, play out provider customers. So people who play out for people. But in the last few years, we've seen the increase of pop up channels as we're, as we're calling them now, where behind the red button hides all these other channels for live events. So especially for sport uh, in football, if you take my team Southampton, the other week we were in the cup, we were actually behind the red button. We weren't the main match, but we were a match available to people uh. on the iPlayer. So that's where it's seen. So broadcasters don't really want to have hardware tied up and licenses tied up. They just want to be able to have a channel that pops up whenever they need it. And we can, you know, effectively offer them a OPEX solution just for the short term. And does this new way of, of, of broadcasters wanting more OPEX or they, let's say they're hiring log server, log server on a short term basis, does this mean that they have, have full access to the, to the full suite of tools or is it? Yeah, I mean, or? It, that, that's a good question. It's we've been asked this before. It, it's not a cut down version. This is the full blown version, uh, specifically unlimited users. So when you buy a license, it's it may be for the short term or a long term project. It's unlimited users, and the you know and we take all our input. So you're not having you know you're tied to this input or that input. It's all our inputs, including all the streaming sources and the transport protocols like SRT, yeah. ZigZee, um, in terms of standard um, sources like TS over IP, OTT, uh, 2110, 2022-6, yeah. all of that, and all our apps. So it's log server, the application, all the client tools. So the mom wall, which is our multi-viewer, um, our uh, log play, so you can review all the pro uh, video footage in there all of that it's all included there is no cut down model here mm. so right in terms of capture hardware i mean will a broadcaster need to have that already in order in, in place to use log server um on the short term option no um, that's an it's a really good thing we've just had a, a customer of ours who's got an sdi box and he's run out of um inputs on there and he's got a short term project for nine months and he's asked us, what do I need? And we say, well, what server have you got available? It just needs a Windows OS and a network card, as simple as that. And he ha he's got an old transport machine, right. a trans transcoding server. And we told him what network card to use. We looked at the server spec and it was fine. And he was, he's up and running within 20 minutes. So no, you know, no specific hardware required which makes it really simple for the uh, broadcaster. Yeah, sounds perfect. And, and uh, I mean, available now? Can people, you know, just do this? Work? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's been available for a while and, well, last four years. Yeah. Um, I can't mention names, but if you think of the host broadcaster across the pond with the games, uh, we just put up 30 channels in yeah. the cloud for them you know, as a pop-up just for the right. games. We did the same last summer and we're getting more and more requests now from broadcasters as this, as, map, as sport and news is hidden behind the red button as such. It's all available and, you know, and this is, you don't have to do it on-prem, but you can. It's virtual machines or in the cloud. So it's all there, very simple to use and we can have you up and running within an hour. And I think, Raj, I saw something um, about Media Proxy returning to shows in the near future. Yes, it, it's it's looking that way. Um, we're still, 
you know, Eric, our CEO, has left it to us individuals to say whether we want to attend or not, how comfortable we feel. But we have a stand booked at NAB. Um, so we will be in the new shiny West Hall. And uh, we're looking at IBC already as well. Hopefully, we're going to do some regional shows in Europe and in, especially in the UK, as I'm based out of London. So, yeah, hopefully we're back, you know, with a bang. Well, hopefully we'll see you at one of those shows. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, yeah, soon. Um, I think Vegas is the next one coming up soon. Thank you very much, Ross, for popping in to see us and tell us more about this, this, this well, sort of new option. Check out the website <laughs> for more in information, of course. <laughs> And thanks to Media Proxy for their ongoing support of Kit Plus TV. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and check out the podcast versions of these shows if you're on the move. Kitplus.com forward slash podcast or your chosen directory. See you next time. <laughs>